The time is now 12.17 p.m. Let's start us a readathon. Yay! India is over there setting up her camera and camera footage. Y'all excuse all these boxes. These are literally all of my books. But I have a really cool little fun shelf project coming up. I cannot wait to show y'all that. I'm gonna vlog that probably. This whole thing just fell off. Oh, okay, fancy. <laughs> I got this trap from the Black Friday stuff for $10 and I was like clearly I got my money's worth. <laughs> okay, so readathon just started like 15 minutes ago. Me, India, and my sister all just picked, well India didn't pick out hers. Me and my sister picked out our TBRs like 30 minutes ago I think. I'll show that to y'all. I don't even know if it's gonna be tonight, maybe. <laughs> I'll show that to y'all probably tonight. If not, I'll show it to y'all in the morning. We're about to pick out India's TBR now, but she got a few like owl crate boxes and stuff that she hasn't looked in yet. So we're gonna see what that's doing and all that stuff. This is so weird having like another booktuber that's like doing videos at the same time. Exactly, because we've never done a video together. Y'all, this is really ridiculous though. We have been on booktube for literally almost five years or five years. Bless you. <laughs> My bad. We have been on BookTube for like five years and we have never done a video together. It's insane. But like, if we always do like, oh yeah girl, I'll see, when are you doing a video? It's, it really makes no sense though, especially for all of the opportunities that we've had to do videos together. It's really a shame. But you know how like it is when you get around your friends, y'all are just like, oh, let's talk about life. And then it just exactly. doesn't happen. I might start reading tonight. I probably will. I mean, it's I, I have to do some reading tonight because I need to set the tone. I need to set the tone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I probably will read for a few hours tonight and then oh, try to get up. Actually, a few hours, let's not push it. You see, I said that and then as soon as it left my mouth, I was like, but will I? <laughs> I was like, okay, she can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh my, how are we gonna do this? I don't even know. I think I'm about to do this owl crate unboxing. This is gonna Ooh. be real cheap. Let's see what India is talking about. <laughs> adorable oh you can give me one of those written in wax candles and put in there girl i got a tea light i can grab right now <laughs> <laughs> play oh, with this it this is really really cute oh yeah i'm definitely gonna get some tea lights from kashan asap that is adorable okay Alfie. okay Alfie. Trying to do? they said we got a budget <laughs> <laughs> okay i wonder do people what? watch videos and make these type of comments <laughs> House of Salt and Sorrow. Oh, That's I just saw this on, I think it was Naya's page on her Instagram. Oh. She was just holding it up. Be careful who you dance with. No, I have to open this right now. What is this about? See, I saw this book, but I was like, this don't look like nothing. But I didn't know it was about <laughs> mermaids. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it was about mermaids. In a manor by the sea, one by one, 12 sisters are cursed. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be a retelling of um the 12 dancing. What is it? Yeah, oh, that's what oh, it was. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, yeah, that's probably yes. good. Let's
parents, y'all. Listen, eventually I'm gonna get it together. But it is currently like 10, 14. We've been up for a few hours. I have my headphones on because I have been listening to my audiobook while I cooked breakfast. So this is what we are having for our readathon morning breakfast. I made pancakes, eggs, turkey bacon, Yay. and then some grapes. Well, oh. India, say hey to the people. Hey, people. <laughs> Now we're about to get this coffee going. Um, yes. I'm gonna show y'all my TBR literally like finally in like a few minutes. But I am currently listening to my first book. <laughs> I'm currently listening to my first book on audio and it's going really well. I'm liking it a lot. So yes, as soon as I get this food in my system, have a little coffee, I'm gonna show y'all what we reading. All right. <laughs> physical book of this for like probably another chapter or so and then I'm gonna switch back to the audiobook so I can clean up the apartment a little bit load the dishwasher and stuff make myself look like something and then I think later we're gonna go to the pool all right <laughs> hey y'all it is currently I think it's a little bit after three I have been reading for the last few hours and I've been cleaning up we are getting ready to go to the pool soon, but I wanted to show y'all the books that um, are on my TBR for this readathon. The first book, which is what I'm currently reading, is the Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe. I think that's how you say it. This is a book that came out earlier this year and I hauled it in a recent video. I'll leave a link to that. So this one is basically about this French, uh, French Haitian Canadian who moves from Canada to Austin, Texas and he is trying to navigate basically American high school. I am enjoying this a lot. I have been physically reading it and listening to the audiobook all morning. It's been really good. I can't wait to actually talk about it in um, a future video. I'm over halfway through it, so hopefully at the pool, I'll get the majority of this one done. I think I might actually be able to finish more than one book today. Shocker. Um, yeah, for a little 24 hour readathon, that's a plus because my goal is basically just as long as I finish one book, that's good enough. <laughs> but yeah, so the other books that I have on my list, oh, and I forgot, I picked this one for the prompt of read a book with friends in it. And this book is really about this main character um, building friendships and some of the home life drama that he has. But it has a heavy focus on friendships and of course a little bit of romance in there. But I really like this. I think this would be good for f um, fans of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens because it has the same type of vibe to it. The other books that I have on my TBR is Black Moon. This is the third book in the Zodiac sci-fi series. The Zodiac series is about a solar system that basically has 12 planets. Each planet represents a different sign in the Zodiac. So there's like a planet Sagittarius, planet Virgo, and of course all of the people that inhabit those planets have like very specific characteristics and a certain look that embody that um, Zodiac sign, which I find very, very um, intriguing. This is book three, so I like the first two books. I think there's one more in the series. There is this like a uh, villain that's supposed to be like the 13th sign or whatever, which is kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. I can't really say a lot about this because this is the third book in the series, but I have this one in the physical copy as well as the audio book. So I will probably start this one after. So this is the one for read one of your friend's favorite books. And this is the Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Y'all know I love Morgan Matson. So I am going to probably pick this one up last. 
she has a really good friend group in this book from what I've been told. And then India really likes this. This is one of her favorite Morgan Matson books. It's a little on the chunkier side, so I doubt I will finish it today. But hopefully I will be able to start it tonight sometime. And then I will probably finish it up in the next day or so. So this is my tentative TBR. I do have a few other books, but I don't know where those are right now. Y'all know I'm a moody reader, so I kind of like to keep options. Now that we have done our little afternoon reading and relaxing, we are going to go to the pool. Hey! Hey! I'm going to say hey to the people. How's your reading hey, going? Well, it's going pretty well. I still need to make some, you know, leeway in my book because I went through three books this morning and I was like, okay, I got to focus on one. Oh yeah, that is right. You're reading three books. I'm making my way, you know, slowly but surely through this book called The Good Thieves. And I'm really enjoying it. Oh yeah, look at, let's see that cover. Y'all, this is like a middle grade high story. Yes, set in 1920s Manhattan, and it has a little fantasy in it, I believe. Actually, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. This book we'll sounds good, though. Yes, I'm loving it. But yeah, hopefully, um, we'll see how she likes that later on in the vlog. Let's go see what Caress is up to. Oh, I don't know if I even mentioned this at all in the video, but the theme for this readathon is book besties. So you're supposed to read with your best friends and do friends. the reading challenges that are like friend related. Well, if you haven't caught like the theme, but yeah, friends. okay. So honestly, girl, if you don't shut up. <laughs> Y'all, like, low-key, this readathon has been going a lot better than I expected because I was like, there's not going to be much reading getting done, but this has really been fun because we put on, like, the little quiet sounds. We've all been reading together collectively, and even when we stop to talk for a little bit, it's just for, like, a second. You know, it's like, oh, a little chit-chat, da-da-da-da, and then everybody gets back to their books, but it's been a really fun experience. So, yeah, good job, India. Let's see what Caress is up to. Alright, and now we have Caress. We're getting the update. Caress is currently reading The Forgotten Girl. I know the lighting in here probably look crazy. <laughs> How are you liking The Forgotten Girl? I'm liking it a lot. I feel like it's a smooth read and I'm really getting into the characters and the plot line so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Of course, y'all, we see we burning Binge Read by Written and Wax. Leave a link in all my videos to my bookish candle shop. But yeah, this has really been setting the ambiance because it has like that coffee scent. And I did have some coffee this morning, but this just kind of keeps me perked up. Y'all, it's already hot out here, so. It definitely is. I don't know how long I'm about to be out here reading, because, mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I'm trying to decide. I don't think I'm going to read. This is that southern heat. Oh, they have two areas, though. They have the. Oh, yeah, one of them shaded. The sun and the other area. read my physical book for a little while and then when I get tired of that I'm gonna switch to the audio it's very relaxing out here look at India. <laughs> India already laid up <laughs> I need to get my book out first but yes I'm um, ready to enjoy myself this was such a good idea I'm probably gonna finish this book while we're out here if you have never read like poolside I definitely recommend it already yes because this is all the vibes
What time is it? <laughs> Look, I'm hungry, so I ain't playing no games. <laughs> it is currently 7.30. I only have about an hour left in my audio book. I'm showing this plate because we went to get some din din. Okay, let's see. I got hush puppies. And then, ooh, y'all wait for it. Mm. This is one of my favorite oh, spots from Little Pigs. This is my favorite pasta salad ever, y'all. So, um, I got pasta salad, macaroni and cheese. And then I got teriyaki wings. And then I have greens. Whoo, y'all, I'm about to kill this plate. Like, mm, good times. And then these hush puppies with my greens. Baby, listen. Mm-mm. But yeah, so I only have about an hour left in my audio book because um, it says, I think it says two hours, but I'm listening to this on two times the speed. And I feel like it's about to come to the climax of the story, so I'm excited about that. But I'm going to um, f finish eating my food, and then I don't know if I'm going to listen to the rest of this on audio or read the rest. I'm undecided. But yes, it's time for dinner now, so Boy, I'm eat. so excited to eat. Did anybody else get anything different from me that I want to show? Um, I think y'all got the same thing. Yeah, I pretty much got the same. I got rice and stuff. Rice and corn. But yeah, y'all, oh, this yeah. is one of my favorite local spots. So this is the perfect. Oh, yeah, this day is just, uh, it's going so well. I've been to the pool. I done got my favorite plate and I've been reading. All right, y'all, I'm about to eat now. <laughs> y'all can see but i finished my book oh my timer's going off hold on basically after i finished my first book the north american guide to wait this i forgot the name of it it's a long title <laughs> the field guide to the north american teenager there we go i finished that at um what time was it when i finished that like 10 something i think so then after that i tried to start a court of frost and starlight and I was not feeling that. I was like five pages in and I was already annoyed because honestly, it reminded me too much of the ending of A Court of Wings and Ruin and I didn't really like the way that series ended. So I was like, mm, I don't wanna be in this world right now. Um, so I switched back to the book that I started reading before the readathon, which is this arc of the 10,000 Doors of January, which comes out in September. And I'm still currently reading this. I'm on page 150. So I made it a little ways away in the last hour and a half or so. But yeah, overall for the readathon, I got exactly accomplished what I said I was gonna get accomplished. One book, 
And I'm very happy with that because I enjoyed the book that I read. This was actually really fun and relaxing. And I don't know, I always thought it would be like weird reading around like other people because it's just like we're all reading, but it was actually fun. I feel like more people on booktube should do this. Hey. So yeah, if y'all know people that like to read in real life or anything, y'all can really just get together and chill. Cause we still mostly read, but we still had good little talking breaks and stuff. And plus you really get to see like live updates of people reading like in the moment, like why they reading it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is getting good in my book. I don't know. I just kind of like that. We have some pie that's on the stove right now. As soon as that call cool off, we're going to have a little celebratory piece of pie because we finished the first books and big hairathon. Yay! India, what are your thoughts on everything? Well, you have to watch my vlog to find that out. Oh, so my God. <laughs> Okay, um, my overall thoughts is that this was really fun. I really enjoyed the book that I read. I'm definitely going to be talking about that in my vlog. What else? I feel like it was a good mixture of relaxation and fun and reading and talking. Relaxing and maxing. Yes. Caress, what are your thoughts on the readathon? I enjoyed it because I felt like I was able to focus my time on really relaxing and getting into a novel. Mm -hmm. And it's different because I've been reading or listening to audiobooks and it was like a new pace to read something that someone else picked out. Mm-hmm. This was fun. Okay, why are you posing? <laughs> you literally went like this. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready for this pie though. I know that. I will probably the next time I will probably do another 24 hour readathon. Who knows? I don't know. This is probably my last readathon for a while. Yeah, Unless definitely. something comes up. If you participated, leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me how you did. If not, like, would you ever consider reading like this? Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Book Archer. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Next vlog. I don't know. <laughs>